Famine, violence, and war have always been with us, but something happened in Noah's day that was unique for his time, and this something was the infiltration of these angelic beings into the human race. Since the year 2000, there has been a 300-fold increase, both in the reports of UFO sightings as well as abduction accounts worldwide. Indeed, from the cameras of NASA to the ordinary person, in the last seven years we have captured the most unbelievable photos and footage of these things than ever before. For certain, paranormal experiences in all categories appear to be more widespread, with far better documentation than in times past. So have these alien beings actually infiltrated the human race? Are they here now amongst us? And if they are, do they really represent advanced beings here to save us, enlighten us, move us to a higher spiritual understanding and awaken us as to keep us from destroying ourselves and this planet? Or is there a more sinister hidden agenda that will deceive the mass of humanity? in an ultimate spiritual and psychological deception. Are they amongst us, blending in with us? Or is it really something else, too diabolical and horrifying to even fathom? As to the question of whether these beings have infiltrated our ranks or not, I'll leave that up to the viewer to decide. Intelligent, sensitive, but take a closer look. Are these psychic children, indigo children? Smart, intuitive, sensitive, strong-willed, and full of energy. Take a good look. These are called indigo children. Three-year-old Kai's mom says he has supernatural gifts and remembers past lives. Seven-year-old Chandler frequently talks to an imaginary friend. Sure who says that he their DNA is changing. Well, the interesting thing is there seems to be a difference in some of these kids in terms of um, uh, John Valo Melchizedek talks about children in California that seem to have cured themselves of AIDS when they were born with parents with AIDS and up to two years old still had them. But when they were about six years old, there was no trace of AIDS at all. And he said it seems that they found scientifically they've got certain codons switched on that we don't. In other words, we operate from out of 60 odd codons, we only have about 20 normally switched on. These kids seem to have about 24 and they seem to have the ability to heal themselves. Um, and this is what um, some of the star kids are saying that these kids are born without programs. They don't even know what solid is. They have to learn what solid is because they see everything as energy. Now, without any kind of extraterrestrial intervention, would these star kids, would they uh, form naturally, do you think? Evolve naturally? I don't think they would because they talk about their genetics being changed on the craft and it's been a, a deliberate program. Many of my clients... Um, have talked about genetic material being taken, both male and female, and they're aware sometimes that their that their genetics are actually altered just before they conceive a child and, and feel and know this child is different. So they are being told on some level at least that this is happening. And it seems to be not only are they using or, or altering the genetics to create this enhanced um, super... Um, homo sapiens if you like or new human but they're also educating this kid on the craft uh, you know either um, in their sleep or through this downloading of information which seems to be there all these things Jesus said would come upon this last generation but it is far more than this Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24 let no one deceive you for many false teachers and false Christs will arise and deceive many. Indeed, Jesus warned that many would come in his name, and many would even claim that they are Christ himself. Hear different things about uh, with this man. This we just like some clarification. Uh, are, you, are you secure? Yes. Do you, you believe and subscribe to who he is? Of course. And who who is he to you? Who is he to me? Yes. He's God. God on earth. God on earth. Second coming of Jesus. Who is he to me? Yes. He's God. God on earth. 
The scriptures warn in the Corinthians that Satan himself masquerades or presents himself as an angel of light. Therefore, we should not be surprised that his ministers would do the same. And indeed, Satan, through these ministers, is spewing forth the same lie that he used in the Garden of Eden. Did God really say? Getting us to bring into question the authenticity of God's word. And the other lie? For God knoweth that the day that ye eat of it, ye shall have your eyes open, knowing good from evil, and be like God yourself. The lie is the same, just reshaped for the intellect of this generation. These beings have come to open our eyes and enlighten us, so that we may all see that we are God. Creating the nature of reality. Mm -hmm. We can only create what we know. God only knows what we know. It's up to us to know more, bigger, better, more fabulous. And his teaching, though, is about letting go of the personality. His teaching, first, if you start with the personality, you're in trouble. Because everybody's going to argue for their limitations. Everybody does. No, the teaching is, is that you're God. That's the teaching. Besides the false prophets, teachers, and messiahs, Jesus also spoke of natural disasters, earthquakes, famines, and droughts, which would be signs at the end of the age. And though it may be said, these things have always occurred, Jesus stated they would increase both in number and severity. And indeed, since keeping records, they have increased both in force and number significantly. The status of Jerusalem and the Middle East currently threatens world peace exactly as prophesied. Global weather patterns are undergoing dramatic change exactly as prophesied. A great falling away from the faith and many mockers and blasphemers are arising on the world scene as never before exactly as prophesied. The God of the Old Testament is arguably the most unpleasant character in all fiction. Jealous and proud of it, a petty, unjust, unforgiving control freak, a vindictive, bloodthirsty ethnic cleanser, a misogynistic, homophobic, racist, infanticidal, genocidal, filicidal, pestilential, megalomaniacal, sadomasochistic, capriciously malevolent bully. <laughs> We see a global new world order forming right before our eyes exactly as prophesied. And soon, very soon, the world population will be chipped and no one will be able to buy or sell anything without the mark. Once again, this is exactly as prophesied. These beings are here for one reason and one only, to deceive the human race and take as many as they can to the bowels of hell, where their soul shall not know rest day or night forever. Jesus warned in the last days there would be great signs and wonders in the heavens, and scripture also states Satan and his angels will come down to us. Jesus is soon to appear himself. Isn't it time for you to receive him as your Savior and Lord? Isn't it time to embrace the true light of the world and turn off the night? Or will you also be spiritually deceived by the signs and the wonders of the age?